years. Yeah, I heard something about it. It's like seven hundred and fifty dollars is most he ever paid. <laughs> Makes sense. See, I don't hold that against him. That's good. That's just being. That's good business. You, you, mm. your, your whole thing is trying to find tax credits, and and that's what they give out as fucking election gifts. Oh, we'll give you this tax credit. We'll give you that tax credit. But when they get tax credits, we bitch about it. Yeah. Well, the best thing is that when Trump was finally asked about it, he was just. He didn't give a shit. He's like, yeah, that's why I'm good at business. <laughs> that's all he said. Hey, like, let me let me give you a, a, a tip, dipshit. You're the guy who needs the taxes now. That's yeah. what the president does. He collects the taxes from the people. You can't go around bragging about how you never fucking paid. <laughs> All that does it. Yeah, that makes me a good businessman. All you're saying to ordinary Americans is you guys are stupider than me because I don't pay taxes and you do. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, can I have my salary? What the kind of a fucking presidential message is that, you retard? <laughs> Make a lot of money so you can be like me and not pay taxes. Yeah, but if everyone in America did that, then no one would pay taxes and there'd be no fucking government, you retards. <laughs> yeah, but we all know no, but not everybody can. Very few actually can. That's why there's so few of those uber uber rich. It's a retarded, self-defeating fucking thing to say. He should be at least trying to hide it better. You're the fucking president. You guys pay me. I don't fucking pay me. Because I'm good at business. Well, yeah. that's, why, that's why I do. You're a fucking idiot. Either way. I don't care who <laughs> wins down there. I really don't. We're, we're, they're fucking doomed no matter which one of those retards gets in. I think they should have to deal with each other for four years. I think whoever becomes president, the other one has to be his vice president. Oh, oh, that's not bad. Then you're stuck with each other. You either have to get along. Like our government, they're just always stuck together. <laughs> Are we getting along this week? No. Okay. <laughs> no, no, we're not. Fuck you. <laughs> what about next week? I don't know yet. <laughs> Depends how badly Trudeau fucks up. <laughs> well, apparently the NDP is on board. He he's uh, did something they liked. I forget what he did. Something that they're cool with now. So they're well, not going to vote down. He's the basically joined them, hasn't he? Well, no, like, he's still the leader of the Liberal Party. Yeah, but no, like what I mean is like, isn't he, he's basically hasn't he basically just said, "What do the Liberals do? That's fine with me. We'll do the same thing." Uh, not completely yet. He just, they're, they're not going to vote him out. Because the the throne speech is always their first chance to get rid of him in a yeah. minority government. Because he tables the budget and they can do a non-confidence vote in the budget and then we have to have an election. So what happens is he goes to each party and goes, what can I do so you don't do that? And they go, oh, you have to extend the Serb for six months. Or whatever. <laughs> their their uh, demands were and he he him and Jasmine apparently Jagmeet sorry now it's jazz every fucking time um jazz <laughs> um yeah they worked out something anyway i don't know i don't care <laughs> i do care i care very much but i don't right now i just i i it's such a weird political time that yeah i just i don't understand it and i I don't think there's any reason to care. I think it's all a fucking foregone conclusion now. Yep. I fully agree. Ah, Fully. But COVID still sucks. I know that. I know that's what's going on in the world. Yeah. All I know is that for four months when we didn't have to wear masks, the numbers were dropping. All of a sudden now we're forced to wear masks and the numbers are up. Hmm. Yeah, it it makes no sense. (laughs) <laughs> Everyone, everyone's wearing masks, but the numbers are still going up, and the second wave, and fucking new normal. Yet, I'm so sick of yet, new normal. Deaths, deaths have not changed at all. No, and they won't. They're still sitting at like virtually none. Hospitals are not being overburdened by new cases as much as they're just being overburdened by people getting tested. Yeah, and I don't even know because here we have testing centers. You don't even go to the hospital. Yeah, no, here we don't. You got, you got to go to the fucking hospital. There's drive, th- there's uh, drive-through ways you can do it, and then you can actually make an appointment for the hospital. But in order to do that, you need to get a note from your doctor first. Yeah, here you can't get doctor's notes. Yeah, because <laughs> doctors won't see anybody. Like walk-in clinics and stuff, like won't see anybody. 
Well, they won't see anybody here either. You just got you got a call, and then they just talk to you over the phone, and then they put your name on a list. But even then, that takes anywhere from two to five days to get that doctor's appointment, and that's another three to five days to get your testing appointment. Oh, I know. I went through it. <laughs> like it's just by the time you figure it out, not only are you already over whatever sickness you had, like it just makes no difference. It's just this. I'm fully aware. I was I was fine for two days before I finally got my results back. <laughs> um, but and then another ten days off work because my employer insisted on it. So all in all, it was like three weeks of no work for three days worth of illness. Yeah, it's ridiculous, and I don't like it. And the, the medical profession has to all get fucked. Um, they're going to be my new target next year on this show. I think. Uh, this like this whole debacle has just been completely mismanaged, and we can't say that doctors aren't partially to blame because there's no doctor coming forward and saying that it's bullshit. There should be a lot of them. Well, every time one tries, it gets taken down and they get discredited for doing it. Every well, time. Well, you, 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 then try harder. Like, don't, yeah. don't just go on Facebook and go, "This is bad," and then it's gone, and you're like, "Oh, like fucking stand up for yourself. <laughs> get well, out there, look. fight the good fight." I don't know. I get it. You know, I have I have uh, family members who refuse to be on this show because they're so scared of their of losing their job over something they'd say, even though it'd be anonymous and we could change their voice. But um, I get it. And then I guess doctors, you know, if you're making nine hundred thousand dollars a year, the last thing you want to do is jeopardize it by having like integrity or morals or something. <laughs> it can't have that. The hell. But I I really you know what. I, I, my mom made a joke about how um, she, she has to be careful because they don't like parts for models as old as her anymore. Like sort of <laughs> like a, a car joke. Yeah. Um, and then uh, a bunch of her friends started responding like, oh, yeah, I know. They, I went to get my knee replaced and they won't even do it because it's too old. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? Like, doctors should never say, oh, no, you're too old. We can't do that. Like. No, just fucking fix me. That's your job. Yeah. You have no other job. That's it. That's I, what you signed up to do. You took your bureaucratic fucking oath thing, whatever the shit is. Do it. Like when I went, a Hippocratic oath is what they take. Thank you. Well, they are a bunch when, of when I go in and I my ankle hurts and the doctor goes, oh, yeah, you're 40 now. That's what happens. No. <laughs> fix it. <laughs> Figure it out. Go to your lab in your white fucking coat and... Fucking house it up. Figure out a way to make me work. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong? You don't just go, oh, yeah, that just happens now. What? So you get paid for this? Yeah, exactly. It's it's a pathetic thing when all doctors now, every doctor, they are all the same in the sense of you have an ailment. They just pick the most common thing, first of all. Nope, you just have this. You going to do a test for it? Nope, that's nope. what you have. That's what you have. I'm the doctor. I know I know. I would like a second opinion. Not from you. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. You go to, go to get a second opinion, they just tell you the same shit either. Yeah. This doesn't matter because the, the other guy doesn't want to do his job. There's got to be a good one out there. There has to be a couple who actually give a shit. You know, I know there's a few journalists who do it right. There's got to be a few doctors too. I'm sure there is, but I don't think that the, uh, the clients are sharing them. <laughs> That's the problem. They're yeah, not telling anybody. Oh, I'm not. I don't don't see my doctor. He, he's an idiot. Meanwhile, this is the guy that will bend over backwards for you. You know, they want to keep him to themselves. Well, they don't take on that many clients either. They don't. Uh, they don't have to. I think they only no, have to. Have, I forget how many patients they have to have, but it's ridiculously low. Fuck. But they they they're all getting it from me next year. You're my new targets. I'm gonna lay off Justin Trudeau and I'm gonna go after the doctor. The doctor. I don't know if there's like a Canadian version of like the medical. I guess there's got to be. I would assume so. Some medical association that governs federally. Although our medical system is all provincial, so probably not. No, I guess that's true. Well, Bonnie Henry, you're going to fucking get it from me. And whoever the Ontario one is who's fucking telling everybody to stay home in quarantine. And then she's at the liquor store that day. Oh, my no God. Man. What are you doing? Just as bad as fucking Pelosi in the fucking states telling everybody, do not go to the hairdresser. Do not do this. And then she not only does she go to the hairdresser, but doesn't wear a mask. Oh, of course. Fucking pieces of shit. Because they all know it's bullshit. They don't have to wear their masks. 
That's they got right. the insider tips. <laughs> I don't get it. I hate that. Oh, well, no, it's part of the new normal. Fuck you and your new normal. There is no new normal. Mm-mm. It's just uh, always fucking weird. That's yeah. Good. And it's not good. It's not fun. It's not, it's no. not good. No bueno. Yeah. No bueno. And I'm no not bueno. accepting it. I am not doing it. People are you gonna if I have to go to a store and they insist I put on a mask, I will. But the minute they're not looking, I take it off and I giggle and I and I go, No. And you can <laughs> look at giggle. <laughs> you can look at me like a jerk. I don't care. I am. Whatever. <laughs> and I don't, you can keep all your cute little Facebook comments to yourselves too. I don't give a fuck. I'm not wearing the mask. You will all realize how stupid you look in a couple of years. And you'll all join me, and you'll say, oh, you're right. Not only that, but I bet you they're all going to find out how they've had these respiratory issues. Because the defense against it, well, doctors wear them all the time. No, they don't. No, not for (laughs) 8 hours, 10 hours, 12 hours at a time. No, they don't. That's right. No, they do not. And also, their masks are much different than the fake plucking cotton ones that everybody's buying, the fabric ones. So don't tell me it's the same thing. You're a fucking, no, you're an idiot. You're retarded. Stop it and just die. But I don't know. I don't know that they cause problems, but I know they don't solve any. And everyone's <laughs> everyone's going to be saying this six months from now, and no one's going to fucking give me credit for it. No one's going to be like, eh, you know, you're just saying the fact. But <laughs> Eric like, never said that. Yeah, you're did. not wearing it. I'm not, I'm not wearing it, Matt. Fuck you. And anyway, all your cute little things. It's not punk. You're just being a dick. Yeah, I am. Totally. Fuck off. <laughs> don't care. And you know what you do when you see plenty of somebody being a dick? You just ignore me and walk away. It's just that simple. If you don't like it, go shop somewhere else. This is my dollarama. That's right. <laughs> um, just I'm just so sick of like it's just become everyone just it's it's not just COVID and protect each other. It's fucking judge the shit out of everybody. Oh look at that guy! Look at his stupid mask! Oh look at that guy! He doesn't have a mask. Like we're all fucking new. fuck off. Like not I only said, that, but I mean the government is literally telling you. Like, our, the Ontario government is telling the people directly, if you see somebody not wearing a mask or not following the rules, you make sure you rat them out. Yeah. You call the cops on them. You make sure everybody in your area knows. It's like, I just, I don't, why? If I, I know, I'm sure in Kelowna, I, and I guarantee you in Vancouver, if I went up to a cop and I said, hey, officer, officer, that guy's not wearing a mask, those cops would beat the fuck out of me? <laughs> yeah, Probably. Why are you talking to us and wasting our time, you son of a bitch? <laughs> Empty out your bag. <laughs> Spread them, boy. Which you don't have to do, by the way, kids. So, <laughs> And if they go, do you have ID? You go, yes, I do. And when they go, can I see it? You go, no, no, you cannot. That's not how this game gets played. Ah, uh, that's enough bitching for now. <laughs> Doctors suck. Doctors are like teachers, except with nurses. Oh fuck! They're just useless. They piss me off, I, and no one ever calls them on their bullshit. But you should, especially now. But yeah. You know. Anyway, moving on. Gord has stuff he wants to talk to you guys about. Uh, if you want to disagree with me, it's Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina at gmail dot com. Just one more thing, real quick. I'll allude to it again at the end before uh, later. But uh, we got an email from the Guinness people. Ooh, yeah, what's the saying? Oh, I just had to fill out, like, a, a, another application sort of thing for... So they'll they'll send me a press pack and, like, how to get in touch with the media and how to use the Guinness media channels to promote what's going on. Oh, cool. So that's very neat. And all I know is that if we if and when we pull this off, we are getting our own section at the fucking Guinness World Records thing up in fucking um, Niagara Falls because they have the Guinness thing there. We are getting our own thing because we're Canadian. We deserve our own thing there. Well, you better talk to them. Uh, It could be up to 16 weeks, I'm being told now, though. That's fine. So it could be into uh, January before we actually pull it off. That's okay. I can handle that. Which means we wouldn't get into the, the, the next book. We'd be in the one after that. No, yeah, true enough. Fuck, it means we got to wait a whole another year to bit until the next one comes out. Fuck. Well. <laughs> and by that time, some asshole will beat us. We'll be like, God damn it. <laughs> here's the timeline as it stands. It's 16 weeks for them to approve our application. It's then another 16, up to 16 weeks for them to approve the 
the uh, the challenge like that so it could take them up to 16 